Welcome, everyone, and thank you for joining me for this episode of Diecast Emporium. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the newest release from the Matchbox Convoys line. This is the, as you can see at the bottom, the Western Star 49X Day Cab Tractor with Tanker Trailer and Nissan Junior. Now, the really cool thing about this in particular is that this truck I found actually at a discount store. You can see up at the top left corner of your screen, I found this at Ollie's for $5.99 here pretty recently. Uh, on the back of the card, these are all repeats, the other two that are in the series with the exception of the Lone Star cab and box trailer. We've seen that livery before, but if you look at the top, you can see that there's a new livery on the 72 Ford Bronco that comes with that set. The Tesla Semi with a pipe trailer and load lifter forklift, pretty much identically uh, the same. And then obviously we have this new release. Uh, again, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be for 2021 or 2020. It's really hard to tell. Back of the card reads 2021. At the bottom, you can read six out of eight for the Convoys line. So really unique that these were just kind of released. So I've been reading that these were popping up at Ollie's stores, so I managed to stop there and pick one up for myself. So that's the card. That's a little bit of background information. What do you say we crack this thing open and take a closer look at it? Now, Sriracha is a somewhat reoccurring theme for Matchbox. We've seen some other vehicles in the familiar red and white with a little bit of green trim that we know as the Sriracha paint scheme. But we've never seen it before on a convoy vehicle. So here is the convoy truck. We'll bring in our spin table here. So here's our convoy. Hopefully he'll stay up there without trying to escape and run away. That often happens when you have plastic tires on this spin table. And then what I think is far less interesting is the Nissan Junior. Basically because we've seen this before, I even think they did a Nissan Junior in, in Sriracha livery, if I'm not mistaken, in the Basics line. So let's take a closer look at him just to get him done. So on the door it reads... Uh, something Sriracha. It's really hard to make out. And then over here on the fender, it reads Nissan Junior. Sriracha right above the wheel wells on the rear, along with the different uh, logos for the hot sauce. So if you're into JDM or if you like pickup trucks, this might not be a bad addition to your collection. Interesting to note, though, for those that pay uh, attention to scale, the pickup truck is more closely to 164 scale and as we'll get into here in a minute with the tanker truck that is much closer to ho scale which is 1 to 87 scale so i never really understood why matchbox does this i mean particularly for the collectors uh you're basically getting two different vehicles in two different scales if i can put this pickup truck right next to the tanker you can see that in no way shape or form is that realistic in size at all but i guess again these are Matchbox, and they're not necessarily completely geared toward us adult collectors. So for play value, for around $6, you get a Matchbox Basic, and then you get a large big rig. That's the whole reason behind these convoys, right? But back in the day, when the first convoys came out some 20, 30 years ago, you usually would just get a truck. There wasn't any Matchbox vehicle that came along with it. Okay, let's turn our attention now to the tanker truck. Again, my opinion, I would not have gone with a Sriracha livery for this. You would never see hot sauce uh, being delivered in a tanker truck, but it is somewhat comical, and the design on there is actually pretty attractive and good-looking. Sriracha since 1980. You have Matchbox over here. Multiple different hot sauce bottles all throughout. I do like the Caution Hot logo on the back end of the trailer. Kind of a comical touch. You have the same logo on the door of the truck as you would on the door of the pickup truck. You have your Western Star W, Western Star logo here, and then coming along to the front of the truck, I really like the grill that they were that they were able to do because they captured the essence of the Western Star 49X tractor really, really well, and it looks quite decent. 
Coming along to this side, again, identical as to the other side. You have your tanks and exhausts. Uh, wheels, again, not particularly realistic, but you could do a whole lot worse. The overall casting design of the trailer is pretty decent. I mean, you even have upside-down pylons that you would see oftentimes on tanker trailers. On the back, you have an access stair, mud flaps. You can obviously disconnect the two, and the trailer can sit by itself. The base is plastic. The actual tank is plastic as well. In fact, I don't think there's anything metal, at least on the trailer. Underneath, I'm not sure if this will come across on camera, but I will do my very best for you. You can see MBX Tanker Trailer, Matchbox, copyright 2019 Mattel, made in Thailand, base code of GMD03. For those that pay attention to that kind of thing. Coming along here at the back, you have that triangle screw. If you wanted to take this apart, that's what you're going to need. So that is a description of the trailer. Once again, it bears repeating taking a look at the tractor or the truck portion. Here is your fifth wheel, or what passes to be a fifth wheel. Now, this tractor will work with any of the recent Matchbox Convoy releases, any of the other trailers. So, for example, I have the Skyjacker trailer over here. And if you wanted to put that together and join it with the truck, you can do that. There you go. Or, I apologize that it's blurry, there we go, or if you wanted to have the pipe trailer that came with the Tesla semi-truck, you can also do that. And they just slide forward and lock in. So, overall, very happy to finally have the Western Star 49X. If I'm not mistaken, I think either this year or the year previous, we were supposed to have the Western Star 49X tractor, uh in the basic line as part of the 1 to 100 series never happened for you know one reason or another maybe they weren't done or maybe there was a licensing issue so it's nice to see it debut in the convoy line it gives the convoy line a little bit of excitement and enthusiasm behind it as it's definitely not one of matchbox more shall we say popular lines among collectors my opinion though it's actually one of my favorite lines for the collectors out there, certainly, if you are into 187 scale trucks or model railroad, definitely would recommend picking this up. Spend $6, and essentially you can get a base model to do a lot of custom uh, and, uh, you know, not only customs, but re repainting this, spraying this, making this look more like an accurate representation of this truck in real life. Swap the wheels out. Uh, there are actually wheel kits and tire kits that are made in 187 scale for trucks. You can really do a lot with this. So this acts as a good starting point to be a suitable collector's model. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you thought of this video in the comments section below. Until next time, take care and be safe. I'll catch you in the next review.